Uh, they get a bowl of soup, maybe for, he brings it to the door. They don't, they don't come in, and and and, and maybe a, a warm hot cup, cup of coffee, whatever it might be, but never come in and sit at the master's table and partake of the blessings. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying you can't get any, you can't get comfort from being at the door. I mean, Jesus told the church, and we, I know I promised I'd get back to the whole night. I stand at the door and knock in the, in the Revelation letter, the second chapter. He said, if any man hear my voice and, and open the door, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. He's not talking about heaven's glory world, but he's talking about our fellowship and the unity that we have together with Christ. <clears throat> he said, how good and how pleasant are the brethren that dwell together in unity. And over the 13th chapter of the, of the Hebrew letter, The, the, the writer says, let brotherly love continue. I, 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 the, the, the thing that I guess impresses me or has always impressed me the most about the Lord's people, and I, and I know somebody said yesterday that when we're, when we're in the spirit, this applies. But when we're in the flesh, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between the saint and the sinner. I mean, we're in, we're in the flesh, and sometimes we get caught up in the flesh, and we find that all, a lot of times the Lord's saints don't always act very saintly. But when we're in the Spirit, he says, let brother love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. He said, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. I, I'm reminded of, of, of the 18th chapter of the book of Genesis where Abraham, uh, at first he was entertaining two, uh, two men. And later, the third joined them. It turned out that third one was none other than Jehovah God Himself. Amen. And he, and then later, when they, when they, two of them departed down to Sodom and Gomorrah, two of the angels went. Lot Himself, in the 19th chapter of the book of Genesis, also entertained those strangers and He preserved them. There, there was a benefit of it while one of them stayed and, and communed with with Abraham, which was Jehovah, which. If you'll have it, it was the Lord Jesus Christ before his incarnation. But he said, be not forgetful to entertain strangers. I, I, I've grown to understand that if a man would have friends, he must show himself to be friendly. We, it, as, a, as a church body, if, if we would have friends, if we would have visitation, and have, if we're going to pray that the Lord would send labors into the heart, then we have to be friendly. We, I, we have to let our light shine. And we have to be praying for those things. For thereby some have entertained strangers unaware. Remember them that are in, bond, in the bond, as, as bonds with them. Remember those that are around us, our, our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Those that are in the church, those that are not within the boundaries of the church, but are also God's children. That we need to pray for them in their bonds, as, as if it have, it have that same type of empathy and sympathy for them as if we were in their bonds as well. We share a, a, one common thing that we, we know that in us, that is in our flesh, well, no good thing. It's the same thing with them as well. That we need to remember them and pray for them uh, that would suffer adversity uh, as being yourselves in, in the body, the single body, that one body. He said it's, in verse 2, he said it's like a precious ointment. It's like a precious ointment. The unity of the Spirit this it, in this text, is talking about Christ. He said, let me, let me say it this way. Jesus Christ is like a precious ointment. Uh, like the Spirit of God, if you will. Uh, an ointment upon, upon the head that ran down the beard. Even, in, even, into the, uh, uh, even into Aaron's beard. And went down to his skirts. Uh, uh, of his garments. Uh, the, the, the Spirit, brothers and sisters, and the harmony we have. In Jesus Christ, like Aaron, he is our, he is also our great high priest. He, uh, he, he, we find through the scriptures that we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but he, he but he's, he's, he's touched in all points, attempted in all places like as you and I, and yet he did it without sin. Now, that's our, I, I see in Aaron here, uh, uh, the, our great high priest. The scripture says he. He suffered and he bled and he died. He took upon himself our sins. Uh, I, I take it personally. He took upon himself my sins. 
He took upon the sins that, that I know about. He, he took upon the ones that I would never share with you or, or, or anybody. I, I'm so glad that God didn't command me to, to uh, confess my sin before you. He, confess your faults one toward another. But we're to confess our sins to God and to our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our intercessor. Now, I'm sure I don't have to confess my sins. It wouldn't take you long, uh, Brother Sutter, to have a little bit of an inspection to find my faults. They're, 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 they're easy to see. I, I've got, I, I forget things. So, uh, and and, and I, I told this story many times. I used, I try to depend on my wife to help me remember things, but she's got to be just about as forgetful of me. And I said, you put our two minds together, we don't even make half a mind. Uh, uh, we, we just forget things. We've got faults. Uh, Sometimes I, I say things backwards from what I what I intend to say. Uh, sometimes I maybe I speak when I shouldn't speak and I hurt people's feelings. I don't intend. That got my intention to do that, but but I've got those faults. Uh, we confess our faults one to another, but our sins were paid for uh, by the Lord Jesus Christ. He paid for every sin, brothers and sisters. Those things that we would never share with anybody else, our high priest paid for. He went. The scripture says in the Hebrew letter that he entered in one time, just once into the holiest of holies, into that very place where God himself resided and offered up his precious blood and his broken body as the Lamb of God, as a sacrifice. And having attained eternal, having attained it, you see, uh, uh, entered, uh, left that place uh, and, and sat down on the right hand of God the Father, uh, having attained our eternal salvation. See, I say all that because, uh, because we're set free. In our unity, brother and sister, we're set free. We don't. We're no longer burdened with that. With the, what the world, uh, the world religion, trying to make God a success, uh, trying to help God out. He, I, I've looked at all the scriptures. He doesn't need our help. He's God, and He's God all by Himself. He alone has extended the arm of salvation, and and, and has delivered His elect from the four corners of the earth. <clears throat> he said, and as the dew of Hermon. And as the dew descended upon the mountains of Zion, and there the Lord commanded his blessings, even the life forevermore. Brother and sister, when I think about the dews of heaven, I think about, I think it's in the 32nd chapter of the book of Genesis, we find that uh, he said, My doctrine, my teaching shall be stood as the deal upon, a dew upon the earth. And I think that this dew is talking about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That it, that it, it, it comes down in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not my gospel. Paul called it his gospel. But he's talking about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember this, brothers and sisters, it's in Christ. We won't talk about our unity. Our unity is in the one who gives our soul strength. He's in the one that lifts our spirit. He's in the, he's in the one that redeemed our souls. He's in the one that gives us life and immortality. It's in him that we live and breathe and have our being. And I'm going to stop right there. And I appreciate your kind of attention. I'm going to ask Brother Lyman to come forward. <clears throat>